Welcome back everybody to Prison Architect. Well, we were last left off. Tempers are kind of high with everybody in the prison, and I'm not really sure why. What are they? Alcohol? Drugs? Well, hygiene. Bitch, there's a shower right here. Take a shower. Come on. Um, we are actually working on having a bigger cell block, and we are doing this right now. At the current moment. Uh, but apparently right now the temperatures are really high, and I don't really know why. Well, I mean, we do know why. It's because they're all complaining about having to use the restroom and all of that. So, I tell you what we're going to do. What we're going to do is we're actually going to put some toilets out here in the yard, which they can use, which I think will be great. That way they actually have, like, a place to... Oh, shit, here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, here we go. She's got a fork. Take her down. Oh, yeah. She tried to escape. You know what that means. That's 24 hours in the hole, baby. Unfortunately, we don't have enough holes for these women to be stuck in. So, like, I think she's just going to kind of hang out. Also, I don't think we have a medical bay. Oh, yeah, we do. Never mind. I'm crazy. She's going to have to be taken to the medical bay. Um, first of all, what we need to do... Well, I don't really know what we need to do. We need to fit in more people, I think. What are we doing? What kind of grants are we looking forward to accomplishing? Um, do we have a classroom? Did we ever make a classroom? We did. Okay, so that's fine. We need to pretty much just work on their needs at the moment, I think. And I think we should be fine. How much money do we have? 3,000, okay. That's not typically enough money that I would actually like to have. Okay, these people want to actually... Can we open the door for them? Can we just open it by clicking? There's a guard there. Um... It seems like they're always complaining about using the restroom. So, first things first, let's actually build them a toilet they can use, like, inside here. <laughs> and we'll put some outside for them as well. How does that sound? I think that sounds great. I think this is a good solution to fix uh, the problem of them using the restroom, because, like, they'll just go wherever and whenever, which is actually quite disgusting if you ask me. I think that's pretty disgusting. And I think we had some up here. Look! There's just fights happening all around. All of these women are being beaten by the guards. <laughs> well, that's because... Oh, look at this. That's one ugly woman. I tell you what. Talking to their family and such. How do you make it go away? Oh, look. You can kind of drag it around the screen. All right? can we just, like, hide it down here? Look. He's gonna peek around up here. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Peekaboo. Okay. Get out of here. Jesus. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put some toilets in some places so that these women can actually use the restroom. For some reason, they don't like to use the restroom uh, inside their cells. What's this? Oh, great. Another picture that's gonna take up half the screen for like about 20 million minutes. Okay, so, we have a classroom, we have everything we need. Is there another grant that we can actually take before we move on? No, we, we cannot. But I think we're fine. Cell block B would be pretty good. And I think that's what this is what we were trying to work on. Uh, let's go ahead and continue on working on that. And I think we should be good. Somebody has found some poison. On, on, Aria Mundi, out of all people. People are getting... Just beaten by batons all day here at prison, supermax, I don't know, supermax women. I don't know, or I don't know what to call the prison. If you want me to call the prison something, you let me know, because I will call it something. I don't know what. Let's go ahead and lock this open, because it seems to actually be an issue with some things, because guards have to constantly open doors for people. So I think if we just lock these open, we should be fine. They're all staff doors, and we can lock this one open as well. That way in free time, people can go wherever without having to worry about guards actually, you know, doing too much. Okay, so we have toilets being installed wherever and whenever. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on right now with the resume. Okay, they're eating. They eat pretty late, which might be a problem. 
They work during the day, though, which is pretty good. I think that's fine. Uh, we gotta wait for funds for 12 more hours and we get $16,000? Really? Okay. I'm down for that. Um, let's start working on this new shower here. Do we have any lights? Any lights? Can I get a light? Because we're gonna hopefully expand our prison capacity. And I hope that it works out pretty well. We're gonna have some shower heads go around like this. And it's gonna be fantastic. I think we can actually, yeah, there we go. We can kind of click and drag all of this over. And I think that should be good. And we just need some drains. Look, the builders are already getting their asses to work. They are going to scoot their pooch right on over here. Um, I think what we can have are some toilets in the corners. There we go. So everybody can kind of watch themselves, like shower and everything while they're taking a dump. It's pretty cool. Um, because there's no privacy in prison. I mean, of course I would know that. I love everyone. I would know that for sure. <laughs> I don't know that at all. Is that? Okay. Well, we just installed a bunch of hot water pipes to the toilets themselves, which is okay. Because we were going to need to do that anyways. But where is the water heater? Okay, it's over here. I think we're going to have to build another one for the cell block. Look, somebody found some scissors. That's great. Okay, we're going to have to build another water boiler. And where can we actually put this? Well, I tell you what, there's this little hallway here, and we're going to put it like right here. I think that should work out pretty well. And it's going to need electricity, so we'll bring some electricity to it. And then we will um, bring some water to it as well, like so. There we go. Just to make sure everybody has the right living conditions. This is the shower area, and this is going to be... You know what? I actually forgot what this is going to be. A common room? Were we going to make this a common room? We might as well make it a common room now. It's a bit bigger of a common room. It really is. But uh, I think they deserve it. And I think we actually need some lights. We can get some lights in here. And that will be pretty nice. That way they can see. And we can, um, we can have uh, two lights in the shower. Which is nice. And that way when we bring in more um, medium security. I think they all are. They're all medium security, and we need more solitary for sure, because I'm... All these people shackled in their shells. You know what? It's time for a shakedown. Every night we have to do a shakedown. That is my, uh... My code. Every night there's a shakedown, because there has to be. Because you never know if they're going to try and tunnel their way out of here. Because they might. They just might do that. At some point we're going to have to extend the perimeter wall all the way out to the road. So it's like a double fence. That way we can catch some people in the act if we uh, we happen to see a tunnel happening. But if we do a shakedown every night, we should be pretty good. How long are they in solitary for? No, she's only going to be in solitary for about 50 or oh, 48 minutes. Okay, so that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Okay, we have everybody going around. Parole room is pretty good. Um, the parole room doesn't actually need to be that big. It turns out it just needs to be 5x5. Five five. But uh, for the meantime, I think that's fine. How's power doing? Power's doing pretty well. Our boiler's doing okay as well over here. Everything seems to be pretty good. Uh, we can also work on getting governmental security ratings. We're going to have two dog handlers and two armed guards, which could be pretty good. I think that is quite expensive, though. But um, we can get some funds here in about 10 hours. 10 in-game hours. So tomorrow around this time. Well, not tomorrow around this time, but like 10 hours from now, we will actually get 16 grand and with that 16 grand I think we could probably get this 15 grand if possible I hope we could probably extend this building out some I really want to get this perimeter wall all the way done around this area here I think that'd be nice it really would be and we can get another yard here which would be good as well I think we have the perimeter wall way too close to actual cells where these these uh, people will be hanging out in but uh, for the meantime, that's okay. Alright, so we have some toilets here so they can use the restrooms. Toilets in here so they can use the restroom in here as well. Of course, no privacy at all, but I think that will be a-okay. We're still doing a shakedown. We apparently have not found any kind of contraband. Or not contraband, but any tunnels. We found plenty of contraband. A shears somehow. Some people have gotten a hold of some shears. Uh, a club. 
I don't know how they got a hold of that and some poison, which I'm not sure. Is there a rat problem in the prison that we need to know about? Okay, shakedown is complete. It's done. And we're working on the new shower too, by the way. Uh, can we get a guard patrol to go around through here? I think that would be pretty good if we had one uh, coming at least up through this way, possibly. I know we'll come up through here for sure because we're going to have a lot of cells going all the way down, I believe. We'll have them come up from right here for the moment. That way we have some coverage of the area and we can see what's going on because we're going to try and fit more people in. And um, hopefully once we get this short term investment, we'll build some more cells and stick more, some more people in, which I think will be great. Where is, and we can get cell block B. We'll get our capacity up to 50, which I think we can handle right now. I think we can handle 50 people. We should be able to at least. I think our kitchen's big enough. Uh, where is it anyways? Kitchen. Uh, we may have to buy some more stuff for the kitchen. Do we have enough money to buy stuff for the kitchen? What do we need? Another cooker? Let's see. Cooker. I think it's 500 exactly. That's okay. Because when we get some more people, we will be able to um, actually afford everything we need to build whatever. And I think that's a pretty big canteen for the time being. Uh, so this should be a cell done. So we can actually go into rooms here and make it a cell. So let's go ahead and do that. Bam. Done. That's a cell right there, baby. That's a cell for you. All we're doing now is we're waiting seven hours for our 16 grand. That way we can actually um, build some more cells, get some more prisoners in, and get some more money. And then we can actually get that one grant where we can get 50 prisoners in here. 5-0. The big 5-0. I know. It's crazy. It's a lot of prisoners to be running around and everything. Um, hopefully we have enough guards. There are no prisoners assigned to eat in this canteen. Is there a certain... Can you actually make them a certain kind of custody? No, you can't. I was thinking you could make them into like pregnant custody, but I don't know. Um, we have one prisoner coming about four hours from now. So we can wait and see if one of them are pregnant. I mean, if one of them is pregnant, we're going to have a nursery ready for them. I mean, it's going to be easy. I think we're eventually going to have to make this nursery bigger or just make the infirmary bigger and the nursery somewhere else because... I think eventually down the road we will have a lot of pregnant people coming in that will have kids and we're going to need more than one crib, which I think is uh, something very crucial to the prison environment if we were to have uh, like children inside the prison. I've never played uh, with the female prisoners before, uh, not in that kind of way, that sound, sounded kind of weird to start off with, but um, hey. It, it, it seems like a challenge. It really does. It seems like more of a challenge than just having uh, male prisoners. Uh, let's see what we got here. Any th anybody? Who's this coming down the road? Who is this? Whoa, who is this? Parole officer? Oh, somebody's going to go out for parole today. Would you look at that? Okay, parole is a pretty crucial thing for us because each time somebody gets out of parole, they actually give us $3,000, which is pretty good. And I know parole rooms only have to be 5x5, five five. so if we go into planning here, we can actually see, is that 5x5? Five five? I mean, yeah, that is 5x5. Five five. We could split this room in half and make two parole rooms, which I think would be pretty neat. Uh, but we'll wait until next night to do that, and then we'll have two parole rooms. That way, both uh, prisoners who are waiting for parole can actually get out there. And uh, give us some money, which I think will be pretty great. Uh, we don't even have this, like, we don't have any of these rooms. Staff only or anything. I, that seems very odd to me that that is like that. Okay, holding cell can be shared. Reception can be shared. The yard can be shared for the time being. Uh, this is going to be medium security. Uh, this is all going to be medium security. How about that? Um... Yeah, that should work out pretty well. Because all we're accepting is medium security for the time being. So we should be good. This is their yard. It's th There's other yards like it, but this is their yard. And then I think we should be good for that. Because I hope that's a big enough kitchen and everything. <laughs> I really do. Okay, we got one more hour until a prisoner comes in. But whew. It feels like we didn't do too much. But there's a new cell 
there is a shower here that is bigger and better. And um, it's probably way better than this small cramped one. And we'll have to build some more solitary next time and work on more more cells to actually fit people into. Because right? we're going to get 16 grand here in two hours. And a prisoner is coming in. But we'll see that next time. So, I thank you very much for watching. We'll continue this next time. And I will see you then.